This is arguably the best voice cloning plus TTS that I found with open models. This is not a completely commercially available model which was just recently changed but you can run this locally and then this is absolutely stunning in terms of how good it can go to. The quality of the voice cloning would be primarily based on the quality of the input voice. First I would like to show you a quick demo that I ran on my local computer using Pinocchio. So this is a voice cloning. Um, if you are an American, I would like to hear from you whose voice is this. I want to just make sure that you know it's not just me who finds this natural but you can also figure it out. I'm not going to say whose one is this. In my opinion, this is one of the best, but I want to hear from you if you can figure out whose voice this. Let me play this. Space is an AI company that provides tools and models primarily for natural language processing and NLP, but has expanded to other machine learning areas. They're known for their open source library transformers, which offers trained models for a variety of tasks like, like text classification, translation, summarization, and question answering. So as you can see, uh, this was really, really good. There are a couple of places where you could see that this is not perfect, like for example, when there is a sentence break or when it is starting, these are certain areas that you can always work out if it is not live. And this is something that I'm currently running on my local machine. I've got a 36 GB RAM and uh, this is, I mean, I don't have an Nvidia GPU and this, uh, this took about like two minutes, two to three minutes totally for it to run. So I've uploaded a reference audio. I gave the text. This is basically I went to chat GPT and then I said, what is hugging face company? And then it gave me a text and I gave the text to this and I got the final output. Quite insane. So now going back to the tech behind this, again, if you know whose voice this is, just, just let me know to see if you can recognize this, just to make sure if this is actually a good technology. Now going back to the demo. Now this is all on Hugging Face or Spaces. So this is a web UI demo for uh, this TTS called F5. Now what is F5? It stands for a fairy tailor that fakes a fluent and faithful speech with flow matching. Wow. This, this is, I think this is what they call as alliteration in English, I guess. So you've got like a lot of this F, 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 F. And uh, this is a combination of a diffusion transformer with a convolutional neural network. So uh, that is the idea here. So they've also got another uh, variant, which is called E2 TTS and E2 in this case. Embarrassingly easy, fully non-auto regressive, zero shot TTS. So they've got these two models that are available here. You can download the model weights uh, from this particular uh, GitHub repository, or you can also go here and then download the model weight. If you were to download the model weight, one thing that you would notice is that they've changed the license of this checkpoint to CC by NC, which means you cannot use it for commercial purpose. NC stands for non-commercial, I guess. So you can't use it for commercial purpose, but everything else you should be able to do it. And it is also open weight. Um, you can go here and download the weights. The weights are available here. So about this particular model in itself, the model is uh, pretty good. Uh, it does a lot of things uh, pretty good when you compare it with other models. One good thing is it is not just English. It is also available for a Chinese language. So if you go to the hugging face demo, the way you can use this is you have to upload a reference audio. And after you upload a reference audio, you have to give a text here. And after you give a text here, then you can click synthesize and it will start synthesizing. The same with both the models. You can try what is good in this. Hugging Face demo has also added the podcast generation. So if you were to create a podcast, let's say between uh, Joe Rogan and uh, uh, Lex Friedman, then you can have like Joe Rogan's voice clip here, Lex Friedman's voice clip here. And then you can just basically give the speaker names and then it will create it for you. So again, don't use it for any misinformation. I'm always scared about making videos about voice cloning and uh, you know, other sort of deep fake things because I don't know where am I crossing a moral line, but also these technologies are like very enticing for you to share about it. And um, that's why I end up making this video. So the person who has made this demo is called Mr. Faker name, uh, fake name, and uh, they've kindly made this demo. So. The reference audio has to be 15 seconds. So technically you have to upload a 15 seconds audio clip. And after you have a 15 seconds audio clip, then you can just paste a text and um, it should work. So right now it is working on GPU. Hugging faces zero GPU. So it will work. So as you can see here, I've, uh, I've got an error here. 
because I've not given a reference audio. So I'm going to go back to my local demo and give a very simple text. I'm going to just say, I love one little coder so much that I can't wake up from the dreams. I don't know, just came up with something in the middle of the night. So I'm going to click synthesize. As you can see here, uh, when I click synthesize, it's going to click the audio, first of all, to 15 seconds because my audio clip is longer than 15 seconds. For me, it has given me that it might take like three minutes. And last time also it took around this time. So I'm going to wait for three minutes. Once the three minutes is done, I'm going to share the video with you, the audio clip. Now, in terms of technology itself, it's quite interesting to see that there is a combination of transformers plus convolutional neural network working together. Um, once again, like uh, it seems like there is there is a good interest in uh, technologies that are a combination, especially with diffusions and transformer as well. Flux does the same thing. It is a diffusion transformer and we have got like Sora um, potentially was a diffusion transformer. So it seems like diffusion transformers are going to be really handy in the media world. And this is uh, one of the this is one of the uh, demos that actually prove you that uh, this is a non auto regressive text to speech, not like, you know, the chat GPT kind of uh, the bark kind of uh, text to speech. Rather, it is using diffusion transformers, which is DIT. And uh, they have also used convolutional neural network um, part, along with the DAT, which is again, a slightly more interesting aspect. So you can see the model overview here. And, um, you know, just just if you're quite interested in the tech behind it, you can just go see here. There is a lot of examples that they've given here and uh, you can see how good it is. So I'm going to play a couple of one for you to just understand how good is this. Some call me nature. Others call me. That is the reference audio. Now let's go ahead and then see for the same reference audio how the language is. I don't really care what you call me. It's quite good. Are you familiar with it? Perhaps they are driven by the dumb. You could see the same emotion, the same tempo. Like for example, in this case, it almost looked like the lady is quite angry and then trying to shout or something. And you could see the very same feeling when they had the same text. In fact, the same um, emotion or the sound translates to Chinese as well. It's, I mean, honestly, it's probably one of the easiest thing that media people could use to hire one actor and then take their voice with their permission, of course, license it to them, give them money, whatever that you want to do. Now clone it across the languages, uh, quite an easy upsell for media companies. Let me play one more audio for you. You don't know how much trouble you've gotten yourself into. Look, your safety and the pack's reputation are at stake. And once again, if you were to closely pay attention to one thing that you would notice is the kind of things that go into the input audio exactly come out. So one of the things that while I was experimenting with this, one thing that I realized is I uploaded audio clip of mine where the audio clip had actually, you know, the transition sounds from video effects and the same transition sounds kind of messed up the entire clip and then it started giving you the output. So if you were to upload an audio clip for reference, I think you need to pay attention, uh, you know, what kind of audio clip that you want to give. For example, if you want to give a clip where somebody's uh, giving a talk in a public uh, hall, then upload the exact same thing because I don't think it's going to do a good job in translating the environment. Uh, rather, it's just going to uh, do a job in uh, capturing whatever you are giving. So let's play the final clip here that we have got. I love one little coder so much that I can't wake up from the dreams. This is honestly like if you know the original person of this, uh, this is such a great clip. And again, like this reference clip that I gave here is from like an event, a public hall speech, like there was an auditorium and, you know, good, good speaking uh, sound, sound system and all those things. So I would strongly encourage you to try out with different environments about what you like. So the easiest thing that you can do is one, you can record it from your mobile phone and then try record it from computer and then try. If you were to run this locally, I'm going to quickly show you how you can do it. First, if you have not got Pinocchio, you should get Pinocchio. Pinocchio is quite amazing. It's cock cocktail, I think cocktail peanut Pinocchio. So just search for Pinocchio. After you go to Pinocchio, just click discover. Once you click discover, this is the first one that you would see here. E2 F5 TTS. So this is a fairy tale that fix fluent and faithful speech with flow matching. All you have to do is go click this thing. Once you click this thing, you'll get the button called download. Just click download and you're really, really good to get started. So it's going to download the models and all those things. 
for like like i said on my mac which is a 36 gb m3 max it takes a bit of time so if depending upon the kind of computer you have got it will take its own sweet time but it's it's quite uh, futuristic to play with if you were to create a podcast with your own voice i think this is something that you should definitely explore i hope this was helpful to you once again thanks to uh, the researchers who open source the paper and also the model and also mr fake man for uh, creating this hugging face space that we all could use and end up on pinocchio thanks so much see you on the video happy prompting